All right, everyone, I am back. Well, Magus is going to join us? Treachery. No, that just might be a way to bring him back. Nonsense. Jaspar, the guru of time, knows how to restore lost or misplaced time streams. All right. And we got Magus. Um, should we put him in now? You know what? What the hell? Remember that hurricane I got? That's what it's for. Remember that amulet that Shala gave Janice? Well, this is it, right here. Protects against status attacks. Very useful item. Right now, we are... Out of here. I don't think there's anything left to do in... Do here. What's that? That's... Is that the Ocean Palace? No. the hell? Viewers, I introduce the Black Omen. I think they're calling us. The Ocean Palace hath ridden, risen? Surely it doth beckon us. The Undersea Palace? This is impossible. Whoa! You know what? We're not going to do that yet. First thing we're going to do is return to the end of time. We are going to talk to the old man. Hey, where's the health care with the radical haircut? This terrible news. I have nothing left to give you but this song. It's called Memories of Chrono. I wish I could win the hat. Looking for the guru of time. Guru of time, eh? Heard him, of course. What do you want with him? He knows how to bring Kono back. To bring back all the loved ones. It's what everyone wants. Kono must be proud to have friends like you. Here, take this with you. Hmm, it'll be this. It's an egg. They call let's let's call that a chrono trigger. So that the chrono trigger and its pure potential. By unleashing a specific course of events. It can have a powerful effect on time. Ask the one who made the epoch your wings of time how to hatch it. Like any egg, it represents a possibility. It may or may not hatch. But the chrono trigger has the potential to get your friend back. The egg will have an effect equal to the effort you put into your search. No more and no less. Don't forget that. As long as you keep Chrono in your heart, the day you are dreaming of shall arrive. I get it. It's you, isn't it? Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Are you Gaspar, the guru of time? Oh, well. I believe that's what they used to call me ages ago. We got the Chrono Trigger. He was a pain. He was a pain, but now that he's gone. Now don't go getting any stupid ideas. He's like a brother to me. 
Oh, come on. Everyone is depressed. May I be... May I be of assistance? Not strong. Not gone yet! It'll find Chrono! It'll fight for worlds! Hey, that punk rocker hasn't been coming around lately. Phew! He owned a mall in, in a mall in here, kids. He can use shadow, and he can probably teach me a thing or two. Um, not yet. So I'm gonna put Ao back in. Now, where should we go? We're gonna go to the future time. Futuristic time. Hi ho, Epoch! Ah! Hey, we're over right in front of the Keeper's Dome. Excellent. Alright. Now. I warn you, everyone, the next part is going to be quite tough. The part after this, that is. Get a magic tab. Now, let us talk to Balthazar. On Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life. But to activate this power, the deceased must be important to the space-time continuum. And you must have a clone identical to that person. Only then can a Chrono Trigger work its magic. Without the clone, there's no point in going to Death Peak. Now scram. We need the clone. That's why I did it. That's why I did it early in the game. So I wouldn't have to worry about it now. We can also do s several side quests now, aside from restoring Chrono. I'll show you about some of those side quests later as we go along, but for now, I think getting Chrono will be the best thing. All right. Well, viewers, I'm going to cut the video off here. The next part is pretty long, so so I think I better cut the video off here after we go through the door. Alright. Now. When I come back, we will talk to Balthazar and possibly go to Death Peak. Don't go anywhere. I will return. <laughs>